The historic and deadly rainfall that devastated Texas is now moving east. The storm made its way into the lower Mississippi Valley Tuesday with heavy rains hitting northern Louisiana. Meantime, the floodwaters have dropped in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Texas officials say the storm dumped more than a foot of rain in a matter of hours. Emergency workers were called to hundreds of water rescues. Now, crews are starting to clean up all that mess. The governor of Texas signed a state emergency declaration for 23 counties. And officials say additional counties may be added as needed to expedite relief and rebuilding efforts. CBS News correspondent Omar Villafranca is on the ground for us in Texas. Omar, so what's the latest on cleanup efforts? We had you earlier in the week in knee-deep water. At least it's at your feet now. That's kind of good news. I, it 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 came fast and it it went away fast and this is kind of what's left of it and keep in mind less than 24 hours ago this area was covered in about four and a half feet of water uh, we can tell because this is the water line right here it did make it inside this house this is one of more than 100 homes that was damaged here in the floodwaters over the last 48 hours and you mentioned what people are doing now they're the waters are down so they're coming up and they're starting to clean up and they're having to clean mud out of their places, furniture that possibly got soaked. There can be oils and dirt and, and various other chemicals in the water. A lot of that stuff has to be trashed and put out uh, for bulk trash. It really is cleanup. In this particular area here in Seagoville, they don't have any water right now. So when firefighters were coming to check on them, making sure they were okay, one thing they were asking for was water. They're giving them water at this point right now. It's the cleanup process. It's going to be a long process to clean up. They're going to have to fill out a lot of forms if they want any help. But Red Cross and other groups are here to see if they need anything. Yeah, I'm sure that they're going to need a lot, especially if that furniture in some homes has to just be thrown out. So what yep. does the community need? Yep. I'm sure we're going to start to see, you know, GoFundMes and different things, the Red Cross, et cetera. What do people need now? Well, you're exactly right. We're starting to see some of these local community GoFundMes uh, th that are popping up. But at this point, it really just becomes the basics. Uh, people who would be cooking at home regularly right now are now saying, OK, well, where can we get something to eat? Where can we get a hot meal? Uh, the Red Cross usually does provide things like that. They provide clothes uh, and meals. But people here are still trying to clean. Mind you, we're in the middle of the week. I talked to the family here, the Medinas who live here. Uh, they were telling me they have a younger daughter. Uh, they're staying elsewhere because she still has to go to school. The schools aren't damaged and the schools are open, so she can't sleep at home. She's now going to go stay at a friend's house so she can try to keep some sort of normalcy and keep their schedule. It's going to take weeks, maybe even months for a lot of people in these communities uh, to, to basically try to get back to normal. But the community here does help each other out. And the good news is there's no immediate heavy rain in the forecast in the next few days. It is going to be hot. It is going to be balmy. Uh, but at least they can start cleaning up. And I'm not sure if you can see, but just on the side, we talked to the Medina family here. Their cats, they were worried about their cats. They were both couldn't find them in the flood. One is now back. Uh, the Both of them are now back now. They're safe. So now they're not only cleaning up their house, they're cleaning up their pets and making sure everybody can try to get back to normal. A sliver of good news there in Texas. All right, Omar Villafranca, to you and your team, thank you.